Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello everyone. Welcome to GFX Farhan. Today I have a new Houdini tutorial for you guys, which is called Dynamic Simulation, which is very useful for car explosion, tanker explosion, container explosion, or a small car hit by a large truck. Before starting, please subscribe my channel and like and share the video because it give me support and help to create some new effects for you so let's get started first of all i add a floor and a camera okay then i add a geo node and name it test object with rpt open it by double click here first I create a box this is my size then I add a pack node and pack this box then I add a color node and add some color and then add a null node and name it out box okay then I add a top network top network okay and double click to open it and in top network I add a RBD pack object something like this then I add a rigid body solver add a gravity node and uh, add a ground plane and merge it with this okay now if I simulate nothing happen now I want something like sphere like a sphere or some object which hit it from underside or from this side or from this side and then it moves so for creating this I add a, again a geo node and name it pulling object and double click open it and here I add a sphere now first on this and goost this okay and here I add a transform node okay something like this change it to minus 2 now animate this first uh, hold alt and click this and it add a keyframe frame 1 to frame 15 again add another keyframe from from 1 to 15 I have no movements and uh, from 15 to something like 20 or 22 or 24 okay in frame on frame 24 here I change it to something like 0 0.5 meter and add a keyframe and on frame 25 again add minus 2 and hold alt click and add a keyframe now it's look like this okay click on animation curve editor or animation editor okay and uh, select the keyframes and straighten it okay now if I play the simulation nothing happen because we need to connect our sphere with this so for connecting this click on this and in collision tab click on deform object click on deforming object now go inside 
and now it automatically create a collision node with file cache node and a null object name it pdp and also create a attribute create and name it top path is it is automatic okay and now if i go inside our drop network now it's also create automatic nodes this is a static object and it's our pulling uh, attribute are added here automatically okay and a static solver and merge it here okay now if i play my sim now it's working let me hide and close this okay now it's working now it is in center okay now i want to move it little bit to the this direction okay now if i play it's hit from there wow now here on dark in dark okay here add another geo node and name it final sim and here add a top import okay top import node top import node and name it what you want okay and now here our here this name is rbd if you change this like something to car or box then you also need to write asterisk rbd asterisk now here i add uh, here i type asterisk rbd asterisk or star rbd star because my here my name is rbd okay if i change this name to any other like car or box then here all you also need to add car or box okay then it work and fetch geometry from dot change it to fetch geometry from dot use dot name okay now it's working cool Now here I add a file node and add a car a car FBX convert it to polygon and transform it pack it also add a pack node and out car okay now in sim here change from out box to out car and now our car is added camera from this direction okay wow if you want high force then speed up and uh, height up the sphere then it's pull the object fast okay so our first dynamic simulation tutorial is completed
my second dynamic simulation video is about testing object with Vela. okay so please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you never miss the new update goodbye